Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is your no-nonsense guide to do the D-Machine Easter Egg. To begin with, I want to let you know that the Ether Shroud Field Upgrade is really useful in my opinion for the end sort of boss fighty part of the Easter Egg, but you don't need it. It's not essential. It's just useful. So you can use that if you want. During the Easter Egg, we're going to be doing the free Wonder Weapon Easter Egg because we need that. And we're also going to need to do the Elemental Upgrade Quest for it for all four elements. So keep that in the back of your mind while you're going through your game. I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. Don't you worry, but just keep in mind that if you want to optimize this, you're going to want to start those nice and early on and get your key card ASAP from that first Megaton. But like I said, I'll explain that in a second. First things first, turn on the power and activate the Pack-a-Punch machine. When you've finished forging Pack-a-Punch, you need to return to the Dark Ether via the anomalies that will have spawned into the map. These anomalies are going to be used throughout the Easter Egg, and if you use one and then you go to the Dark Ether and you come back again and you need it to respawn, you just need to get a bunch of kills. Sometimes you go to next round, sometimes it just takes some time, but either way, you basically need to progress in your game a bit and the portal will spawn back in. A quick note about these portals as well, if your portal that you need at a given time is not spawning in, there's a chance you need to use a different portal and then it will cause this one to spawn it in next. Or if you're on a certain step that requires a certain portal to spawn, it might not spawn in other portals. So bear that in mind as you go through the Easter egg and read the description of this video for more information about how the portals work. So travel back to the Dark Ether via one of those anomalies and now look for the three parts I'm about to show you for the Ether Scope. These will be pick upable in a certain order. You need to run to each location and check it and if it's not there, there, you just need to run to another location because it will have spawned in there first. It's basically in a sequence. So the first I'm going to show you in my game, but it might be the second or third that you need to pick up in your game, is going to be on this plane wing just here. The second that I'm going to be showing you is in the spawn area of the map underneath the concrete stairs outside Nakhdaran Toten. And the third one is down in the particle accelerator room, also known as the Pack-a-Punch room, on the stairs or kind of on the metal bit just here. Pick those up and then craft the ether scope at the buildables bench in the particle accelerator room. By this point, you've probably been kicked back out into the normal world. That's a good thing because you're going to need to return to the dark ether again now, this time via a specific portal. There should be a newly spawned portal in the Speed Cola room, also known as the Med Bay. Take that portal back to the Dark Ether, and when you're in there, and by the way, I hope you've picked up your ether scope already from the table where you crafted it before, head into the little viewing deck, viewing room on the side of the Speed Cola Med Bay area, and you should see a diary on a table outlined in yellow that you can pick up. Grab it and then run back down to the center of the room, and as you do so, you might start hearing anomaly detected. This is a sign that there is a ghost present nearby, but you need to find where he is. And so you're going to run around the room and look. Mine is just here, as you can see. And when I get near it, it's going to give me the chance to spawn the ghost in because there'll be a blue ball that appears. Hold square on the blue ball. The ghost will appear. You're going to give that ghost the diary. OK, this is one of three ghosts. We're going to do this two more times. The next ghost I recommend you do is in the trials room. So run over and like I said before, listen for the anomaly detected sound. Look for the blue ball that will allow you to spawn the ghost in. Spawn in the ghost and then give him the diary for the second time. The third and final ghost is on the etherscope workbench. He should be right in front of it in the particle accelerator room or sort of thereabouts at least. So listen for the sound, spawn it in when you find the blue ball and then give the ghost the diary. You should be able to do this all in one ether teleport, but if you don't, you're going to need to go back through the speed cola portal like you did originally in order to do this. With the three ghosts getting their diaries, you can go back to the normal world and go back to the med bay viewing room that I mentioned previously where you picked up the diary and in there, you should be able to interact with the computer and input a password, which is actually written on the desk just to your right. The big chamber in front of you should start glowing blue, and this is a sign that you're ready for the part of this easter egg that requires you to have the wonder weapon and to have finished all its elemental upgrades, so I'm going to explain how to do all of those now. If you know how to do those already, you can skip forward to the timestamp on screen or linked in the description down below and move on with the steps. We'll start off with the free wonder weapon easter egg because that's the most likely way that you're going to be able to get the wonder weapon in your game at this early a round. The first step to getting the free wonder weapon is to wait for a megaton to spawn in, kill him, and then kill his two halves. When you kill the second half, half and there's no megaton left, you should find a key card has been dropped. And this isn't just an Intel key card, it's labeled key card. Pick up the key card and bring it to the weapons lab. This is the room with the nuke in it and enter it into this computer here. You'll be given back the die device, which you need to bring upstairs into the original Nakhdaran Toten spawn room. This step does require you to bring a horde of zombies in as well. So get a group with you when you're ready to do the step. You simply need to run over to the crack in the wall that I'm showing you here. Hold square on it and it will initiate a kind of temporary trap on the metal door just next to you. In the time it's active, you need to run your horde in front of that trap. And as you go back and forth, it will continue to kill zombies. You'll find that the trap turns off after about 25, 30 seconds, and you'll be able to go back over to the crack in the wall and hold square to discharge and blow the door off that room if you've done this successfully. 
You'll then find your free wonder weapon in sight. See, I told you that was really easy. There is a chance though that you don't have enough zombies, for example, to do this, and as such you fail it, and you're not able to blow the door off. If that happens, don't worry, just wait for it to cool down, and you'll be able to do it again in a couple of minutes time, or the next round, or something like that, when you've got more zombies to kill. Simply hold square on that crack in the wall once again, and give it another go. Now that that little easter egg is done, we can start on the actual elemental upgrades themselves. Let's begin. First of all, the electric upgrade. With your newly acquired base level wonder weapon, you need to return to the Dark Aether. And to do this, we're going to be using, and I recommend here, the portal in the Particle Accelerator Room. Once you've held square on that portal and teleported back to the Dark Aether, run upstairs into the outside area. We're going to be looking for three yellow crystals, and we're going to need to suck those crystals with the Wonder Weapon, and as such, if it's got full ammo, you're going to need to fire the Wonder Weapon once just so you have the ability to suck. Your three crystal spawns are as follows. One crystal is on the roof of Nacht, just here on the side as you can see. Another crystal is going to be found in the kind of pond area where the quick revive machine is, and it's just here as you can see. And the third crystal is going to be the one that I'm showing you in the gameplay here. Now, with the Wonder Weapon, you're going to hold down your left trigger and suck one of the crystals, and you should find that you absorb its yellow essence and it kind of glows on the end of your gun. Do not shoot your gun now. Instead, run all the way back to the Particle Accelerator room. If, while you're doing this, you return to the normal world instead of the Dark Aether, that's not a problem, don't worry. You'll still have the yellow glow on your gun as long as you don't shoot it. Run over to the box that I'm showing you just here and shoot it with that yellow energy. You've then simply got to do this for both of the other crystals. So return to the Dark Aether via the portal in the Particle Accelerator room. Once it's come back, of course, it's not going to be there straight away. You'll have another portal in the pond area, but you'll need to use that and then wait for your portal in the Particle Accelerator to come back. But once it's back, use that Particle Accelerator portal, go to your next chosen crystal, get the yellow energy sucked up, and then run back to the box and blast it. When you've done this with your third and final crystal, the box will open and you'll be able to activate your Electro Bolt ammo type for your Wonder Weapon. Second on our list is the gas upgrade. Go to the top floor of Nacht, the roof, and you should see a yellow canister just out of reach. You're going to use the suck feature of the Wonder Weapon, so if you've got full ammo in it, then you need to shoot a shot so that you're able to suck with your left trigger, and then simply do as I'm doing here, stand where I'm standing, aim at the yellow canister, and suck it, and it should fly right over to you, and you'll be able to pick it up. Make sure you don't get confused and grab intel here, by the way. You want to make sure you're grabbing the canister. We're going to bring that canister to where Deadshot Daiquiri is on the map, so follow me as I'm going in the gameplay here, and you should see on the wall just ahead of you, there is a spot where you can play place the canister down. You then need to fill it up with the gas from dead plague hounds, so easiest way to do this is just to wait for a plague hound round and then bring a plague hound down there and kill it right in front of the canister, right there. And if you do that once or twice, you should find that the gas gets sucked up and the canister is filled. Pick the canister back up and run over to this box that I'm showing you in the crash site area of the map. It's got vines all over it. You're going to place the canister on top of that box and then shoot the canister. It should explode and get rid of the vines and you'll then be able to open the box up and inside you'll find your upgrade for the Nova 5 variant of ammo for your wonder weapon. Third on our list is the fire upgrade or laser upgrade. Go to the crash site on the map and look inside the cockpit of the plane. You should see a metal box and you're going to want to shoot that with a bullet based gun typically and you should see the top of it flip open. You then need to go to the dark ether. Specifically, we need to use the Dark Aether portal near Quick Revive. Go to the Dark Aether and run over to that fuse box that we just shot. You'll find that now the cockpit of the plane is actually flying in the air and the box is exposed, ready for you to pick up a fuse from inside it. The next step's going to require us to head back to the Dark Aether again, so a bit later in your game when your portal's back you can go right through it and you're going to need to head over to the Deadshot Daiquiri machine this time. As you can see in the gameplay here, near Deadshot Daiquiri there is a box which you can use your fuse on, so go over to it and hold square. Your last thing to do now then is to run over to that same box that we just basically lasered with that fuse, which is now going to be in a different place on the bed of a truck in front of the pond area, swamp area where Quick Revive is. Mantle or jump onto the truck bed, hold square on the box, and you'll unlock your new alternate ammo type for your Wonder Weapon. Fourth and final one on our list today is the Ice Upgrade. 
With your base unupgraded wonder weapon, head to the top of Nacht and shoot the wooden box that I am shooting here. The box will break and drop a flask which will be on the floor below where the box was so you can run over there and just hold square to pick that up. We're then going to need a megaton zombie to spawn in, also known as the Chungus. You may need to go a round or two, you may even need to go several rounds, but you're going to want to wait until a Chungus has spawned in and when there is a Chungus among us, he needs to shoot the fungus. And what I mean by that is there's some mushroomy fungus growing on a tree in the kind of crash site slash swampy pond area of the map. It's this tree right here. You need to stand really near that fungus so that the chungus shoots you and hits the fungus and that will cause it to start glowing purple and you should get an audio cue when you've done it correctly. You can then place the flask down just underneath the fungus and you then just need to wait like a minute or two and if after that time it's still not ready to be picked back up then I'd suggest coming back the next round but once your waiting time is over you can run back over to it, pick up the flask and bring it with its newly acquired blue liquid down to the box that you can find in this area of the map near the speed cola machine. Simply pour the liquid onto it and it will freeze the chains on there and you'll get your final upgrade, the ice upgrade. With all the elemental upgrades complete, you're going to need to go back to that blue canister in the med bay room that we activated before and shoot the colored corners of that canister that correspond to the elemental upgrades. So one of those corners is kind of slightly browny red. That's going to be the laser slash fire upgrade. You need to just put that upgrade on your gun and then fire it at the end of the canister like I'm doing in the gameplay here. You'll know you're doing it right because each corner will fold up up when you shoot it with the correct ammo type. The same goes for the other three colors. Match the color of the upgrade to the color on the end of the canister, and when you've shot each corner with its corresponding ammo type, you'll have completed this step. You'll then see a red case light up on the outside of the viewing room, and this portal will spawn in. You need to take that portal and return it to that red box I just showed you. It's gonna have a ghosty boy that you can spawn in outside it, so go over to that hold square and you'll get a little cutscene. It'll end, return you to the normal world, and you'll be able to pick up a wrench where those guys were just talking. It'll be on the floor. Bring the wrench up up to the spawn area of the map and use it multiple times on the side of the tank as you can see I'm doing here. Then a zombie will pop out of the top. You need to kill that zombie and then use an explosive on the top of the tank in order to get the tank to fire. I'm doing it in my gameplay here with C4. Semtex is also what most people prefer to do it with. You can craft these if you need to at the craft station that is in the spawn as well. Run to the crash site and grab the gold ball that was just knocked onto the ground out of a tree by that tank shot and then run with that gold ball back to the red case that opened up just a few moments ago. Split a megaton and feed each of its halves into the canister one at a time. When you have fed in two halves, your team will need to go up to the viewing deck in the med bay and you'll activate the computer to fuse those halves back together. This will end with the newly fused zombie breaking out of its cage and actually running off and we're now very, very close to the end of the easter egg. So it's at this point that you're going to want to get set up with everything you need. Your perks, your armor, your pack-a-punch. Also make sure that if you can afford it, you buy yourself like a fireball or some similar thing because that's really useful for taking out some of the stuff in the boss fight. And I stress, if you can get multiple teammates with the wonder weapon here and get upgrades on those, I highly recommend it. In my opinion, the two best upgrades to use are the electric upgrade and the fire upgrade. They are my favorites by far. And the ray gun obviously is really good too, but if you can bring the wonder weapon in, definitely do in my opinion because it's just so useful. Then when your team is ready for the fight, go into Nocturne Totem and look for the newly spawned in anomaly. Activate it, travel to the dark ether and run around looking for an anomaly detected signal just like you saw before with the blue ghosty boys. This is where my one spawned in in the corner. You're going to spawn in a ghost of all of and he's going to talk for a little while. Just to make things easier for myself, I'm going to run around outside while he does his chatting and then as that ends, he is going to drop a picture of his family which should drop onto the floor and is our token into the boss fight. That is how you start the boss fight. So you obviously need to be well prepared here. Now, if he finishes his little cutscene, he finishes talking, he drops the card and then you go back to the normal world and there is no picture on the floor, you need to reactivate this again. So go to the next round, fight through a load more zombies, activate that ether portal once more, go over to the blue ghosty boy, activate him, hear his spiel one more time and then he should drop it onto the floor and you'll be able to pick it up and actually grab it. It's a bit buggy. Triarch Easter eggs just have built-in nonsense sometimes and we just have to try and get around it as best we can as players. So you're in the boss fight now. You've got your wonder weapons. Hopefully they're going to be really, really useful. We're going to be protecting all of while he fiddles with some computers. He'll start towards the pack a punch and then
then run to different spots around the room. You need to go crazy on all of the Megatons, dogs, and zombies spawning in that are going to be trying to attack him. And you also can get ammo back here really easily by killing Megatons with your Wonder Weapon. That's a really good pro tip for if you're struggling with ammo and things like that. There is also an ammo crate on the bottom floor of the Pack-a-Punch area, sort of underneath the stairs. So make sure to use that if you need to in a pinch as well. You're going to basically be spamming your Wonder Weapon the entire time and just making sure that Olaf stays alive. Like I said, this has a couple of different stages. He'll finish in one place and then he'll move over to another. So make sure that you're safe in that time. And also, don't be afraid to do things like pop your Ether Shroud earlier in the fight here because you're going to recharge it up by just killing everything in your path. You do ideally want to have an Ether Shroud for when this all finishes though because it's going to make the last bit of this Easter Egg much easier. You're going to get a cue from all of that things are finished, it's all wrapped up, and you're now able to leave the room where previously you were locked inside. You need to get to an exfil that is going to be indicated on your map. Now, be very careful. There are bolts of electricity, blue columns of lightning all over the place, and they pretty much one hit kill you. So if you've got stamina up, this might be a bit easier for you. You are on a timer, and this is why I think the Ether Shroud just makes life easy, because it takes the pressure off of the zombies and all that stuff, and just means that you can navigate to your heart's content. Only one of you needs to make it to the chopper so i had a teammate that went the wrong way and just died and then i had another teammate that went another wrong way and didn't die i don't think but basically got stuck i was the only person that made it to exfil in my game and we still completed it so as of right now only one player needs to extract but they might change it so that the whole team needs to extract in the future so bear that in mind in case it doesn't seem to work or you end up with a fail when only one person gets out and the other three people die that is the end of the easter egg congratulations you've done it you'll get a very very short like 10 second little kind of cutscene type thing as your chopper flies away and that's that this has been a no-nonsense guide to the D-Machine Easter Egg. Please drop a like. Please consider subscribing because I'll be posting guides like this all year. Buster Rhymes out here with the Easter Egg content coming through to you guys. Man, I've been talking so fast in this video. Sorry if that's made it harder to understand. But hey, it's just like you're listening to it on two times speed. So you download the information into your brain faster. Okay, thanks guys. A little bit of nonsense in the end there. I really hope you like the guide and I'll see you all soon for more Cold War Zombies. Thanks. Bye for now.